What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at one masterful piece of art. Check this out. So you all have probably seen several videos with uh, my good friend and my neighbor and American veteran. And uh, he, you know, he's a welding master and he's been on the channel several times doing some really interesting projects for me out at the, the property. But this right here was something that he actually volunteered to do for an absolutely amazing cause. And that is the American Valor Foundation, specifically the Chris Kyle Memorial Benefit. So if you all saw my channel a long time ago, you might have seen a video I did where I actually had an opportunity to interview Chris Kyle's mother and father in Dallas. I had a really great opportunity to kind of learn a little bit more about them, learn more about Chris Kyle, also one of Chris Kyle's best friends, who's actually the CEO of Road Armor Bumpers as well. So we spent some, some really, really great time together, learning and understanding a little bit more, not just about Chris Kyle, but about the Memorial Benefit, which is a absolutely phenomenal way to help support veterans and uh, not just support them, but get them the help that they may need as well when they get out of the military, because I don't think it's any secret that there's a lot of uh, a lot of folks who get out of serving that never really leave the battlefield and you know one of the things that we can do as americans and as folks who appreciate their sacrifice is to support them when they get out of service so uh, next to me i have my neighbor um, he welded this this is all his baby he created this from virtually nothing so whenever uh, we kind of went into this project i got him in touch with the folks over at uh, the American Valor Foundation, as well as the Memorial Benefit and Road Armor, who helped put a lot of this together. Um, he said, how can I contribute? I just want to build something. I want to get it to them and give them the ability to make some money off of raffling this thing and auctioning it off or whatever they end up doing with it to build some funds that can then be sent to a outstanding veterans cause to help veterans that need help. So very, very cool. I have him here next to me. I'm going to let him kind of go through it. Um, but before he does that, uh, you know, one of the, the reasons why I think we were able to get this the way that he wanted it was because of my, my channel sponsor, eTrailer. So eTrailer ponied up some cash. What did they end up contributing to the project? Uh, $1,000 towards the material. Yep, so that was just 1000 bucks to the materials alone. And that enabled him to not have to worry about that aspect of it because you were going to pay for it. You were gonna yeah, I was going to pay for it out of pocket just to, I wanted to donate. I was already donating my time to build it. And I was fine covering it on my own, but I, I just wanted to donate it to something, a good cause. Yeah. But thankfully, E Trailer stepped up and donated a thousand dollars for material, which covered up pretty much all the material. Yep. So you you still got a chance to kind of pour your pour your blood, sweat, and tears into the the making of this, and it always helps when you don't have to financially have to worry about it and. And E-Trailer was uh, generous enough to not just step up, but enthusiastically step up. We got them on a call and they were like, yeah, hell yeah, we want to we wanna help. So that was really cool. So yeah, all the uh, materials were, were actually paid for by E-Trailer. So big supporter of the channel, big supporter of veterans, big supporter of this project. Um, what else we got? And on another note, uh, J&M Creations, they are out of Rockport, Texas. He's the only one I use for cutouts, my custom grills. He's the one that did all the, the cutouts for me, and uh, he does great work. I wanted to thank him for for everything he did for this pit. He's yeah. always down to help veterans. He's always he, he works a lot with the Objective 22. So he, he's a good guy, him and his wife. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yep, that's awesome. Anybody who helped, any, uh, any organization that helped with this project, very much appreciate. Um, it means the world to me. It means the world to to my neighbor as well as the folks from uh, the Memorial Benefit and the American Valor um, and the Kyle family who are just trying to build awareness around, around you know, folks who need help. So I saw the 22 a day. I don't know what that means. Can you kind of walk me through that real quick? Statistically, supposedly 22 veterans a day commit suicide. And that's 22 too many. So I wanted to bring, I know it's out there a lot, but I wanted to bring some more light to it. Veterans, we do care. Get some help. Helps out there. Reach out. Let's get that number lowered. Yep. And you know what's interesting too? I'm finally starting to see 
the uh, I'm finally starting to see the TV kind of talk a little bit more about it. So I'm a big fan of SEAL Team. Absolutely love that show. It's my favorite show. I don't know if you've caught yeah. up on the latest episode, but all the latest episodes, actually going back a couple seasons, have really focused in on mental health. They truly yeah. have. And I think they've done it in a very good way. They brought the message home. Uh, the last episode, which I don't know when this video is going to air, but the last episode is pretty devastating because it, it kind of brings all of it to a really shocking um, I don't want to say end, but kind of an end. So anyways, um, yeah, so anytime you can help a veteran, especially a veteran who's going with some, through some mental health crisis, it, anything we can do, I think, is, is worth doing. So this is just a piece of it. So um, yeah, let's talk about what you did here. Let's talk about the, the build and, and some of the things. And once you start seeing some of the cutouts, I think you're going to be blown away by, um, by what this company, what company was that again? J and M Creations. So J and M Creations did all the cutouts, and there's some really really cool cutouts. So go ahead, take it away. Let's walk, or just walk us through the whole build. So uh, I wanted to do something different other than uh, pipe. Most pits are built out of pipe, and I just thought that might have been a little bit too easy. It was going to be. I didn't want it to be like other pits. I wanted to do it completely different. So I went ahead and went with the octagon. Just a normal offset smoker. Most people would like to do a pipe as their smokestack, but I wanted to keep it pretty much the same going with the square tubing. I didn't want to have a round pipe coming out of an octagon pit. I just think it looks a lot better with the square tubing. Chris Shark Corners. What do we have here? This is you have your uh, open and close to be able to control the, uh, the smoke, control your flow, your airflow. Very cool. I love how you, you just squared all this off. Nice, really clean edges. Are these all welded edges? Yes, this is an end plate that sits here. And there's a weld here, but I just like the way it looks once you grind it all down, smooth it all out. It just, it looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, it, looks it does. It does a lot of extra work, but the end product, it just looks a lot better. So. I mean, look at these welds. I mean, look at this. This is all welded. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, so what, what's going on right here? Because this looks gorgeous. So this, uh, I have a guy that I always use for all my epoxy boards just to be, again, I want to be different. I don't want to do the same thing everybody else does. And when I say I build a custom pit, it's going to be completely custom. Nobody else is going to have these boards. Nobody else is going to have the cutouts that I have. And this, I just wanted to pay tribute. Talking to Mr. Kyle. Uh, over the phone, haven't met him yet, I, I can't wait to meet him. We've gone over what's important to the foundation. And what came up the most was down here. Chris actually wrote this message. This is his handwriting, that's his signature. Um, we pulled it off, added it to the board. It's more personalized. Here's your logo, here's your other logo. Now moving down below, you got some really interesting cutouts going on here. I know the center one, I know that one, but let's go over them all real quick. So uh, another thing that me and Mr. Kyle talked about was um, the whole sheep, sheep dog and the wolf analogy. And I just wanted to throw it in there. It's gonna go, everybody that's seen the movie knows that's a big part that stands out to most people. A lot of people remember that, that little saying, so I wanted to incorporate it into the pit. Along with, of course, Chris Kyle's logo. Yep, that's the Punisher designation for his unit, right? Yes, sir. Very cool. Nice. Uh, is that expanded steel down there that's that you've expanded used? Expanded steel, and it's set up that way for a reason. I wanted to put the sheepdog in between the sheep and the wolf. This is kind of where you'd store your lumber, too, this right? This is where you'd store your charcoal, your wood, anything Great. like that. All right, so when we look at the casters, I even see you went with a pretty nice caster there as well. Yes, those are rated for about seven to eight hundred pounds each i tried to when i was building this pit i tried to think this might go to a veteran family whether you know they donate the pit or the proceeds i just didn't want to take the chance of it going into a veteran and it goes to a disabled veteran they go through enough already i didn't want it to have to have to struggle with moving the pit around that's the whole reason i put a counterweight on it because if somebody has back issues arm issues it's going to be as easy as possible for them Yep, so we got more stuff going on over here. This is your firebox, yes. Um, again, talking with Mr. Kyle and looking at their website on the foundation, trying to get more involved as far as learning and what they do and what they support. And this is exactly what they do. They're supporting our veterans and our first responders. 
and I wanted to make sure I put something towards not just the veterans, but the first responders are important. Absolutely. So let's open these up real quick and let's see some of the detail that went into cutting out some of this. Counterweight makes it so much easier. And this is all, this is all double plated up here, right? This is quarter inch thick. And this is a one eight flat bar that goes over the top. It just kind of helps seals the edges. You don't want any smoke leaking through. You just want it to have a good seal. All right, so these are the grills that that uh, Joe with J&M Creations cut out for me. It's just a half grill. Some people like it. You can always take it out if you need the extra room. It's removable, take it out if you need it. But support our heroes. Again, it's for our veterans and our first responders. I didn't want it to be it's just for one or the other, it's for both. It's for this foundation, and that's what they support. That's what I support. This right here, this middle section is removable. To clean out, do whatever needs to be done. And again, it goes over the saying again, it's our duty to serve those who serve us. Awesome, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. When he talks about the cutout work, check that out. Amazing work every time. Absolutely. We got more going on over here too, so let's work our way this way. There we go. That is absolutely awesome. Check that out. US flag. And this is removable too, I'm this sure. Oh, removable. it's two pieces. It's two pieces just to be able to get them both in and out. It's completely removable. If you want to use it just as a firebox, perfectly fine. If you just have some burgers or Something small you want to grill up, you can use this just as a grill. That is super cool. Just from the handles and the ability for you to open and close the damper right here, just check that out. It's just meticulous. I mean, that's that's the reason this is a guy I call anytime I need anything welded because he does absolutely phenomenal work. I love the counterweight. That is absolutely cool. That just really, really sets it off because you see it and you kind of wonder what it is. But then the minute you start to lift this up, you're like, man, that's a lot lighter than it should be. It's because that massive counterweight he has back there. Yeah, I want to make it as easy as possible for whoever's going to be using it. Yep. Well, man, you, you totally outdid yourself. I mean, this is amazing. This truly is. And, uh, and he did serve. So you want to take a minute and talk about a little bit of your background as well? Yeah, the whole reason getting started out with pits was uh, finally to go get help from the VA and talking with the VA the therapist was telling me, you need to get a hobby. You need to find something to help keep your mind busy. And it just so happened at that time I was buying a house. And I told my wife, you know what, I'm going to make a barbecue pit for the new house. And I noticed that when I was making that barbecue pit, I was sleeping better. My anxiety was down. I wasn't so anxious. And I just felt better. I, I even to the point where I stopped taking the medication that the VA was giving me. I just felt better without it when I was keeping busy doing pits and it kind of snowballed. I built a pit for me and other people started, hey man, build me a pit. So started there and just kept going. I just finally said, you know what, I want to be different. There's a lot of good pit makers mm -hmm. all over the place, but I just wanted to be different. Yep. And you did a, you did a phenomenal job with this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Phenomenal build. Anyways, the more information we get on where this is going, how it gets there, and uh, what they do with it, the more we'll share with you guys. But I definitely wanted you to see what he's been pouring his uh, blood, sweat, and tears into. And, and how long do you have in terms of hours, you think, into this pit? Like in terms of... I had maybe about working. six weeks into it of actually, you know, working on it. I didn't have a chance to work on it every day. Of course, I have a family and I have a normal job that I have to deal with. But... In the afternoons, a couple hours after I get out of work, I would come in here and chip away at it. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, my friend. Anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, the more information we get on where this is going and where it ends up, hopefully I'll be able to share that with you guys. Once again, I truly appreciate your service. I truly appreciate the effort you put into this. A big shout out to uh, E-Trailer and again... J&M Creations. J&M Creations yes. for, uh, for contributing. And thank you, because I, I wouldn't have never gotten in touch with uh, Mr. Kyle and the family and the uh, foundation, if it weren't for you, thank you for being that bridge. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be where we're at right now. Well, I appreciate that because quite frankly, you know, 
I jumped at the opportunity to get him connected with them and he jumped at it. He was enthusiastic. He actually texted me right after we had our first phone call with those folks and, they, and he was like, I can't thank you enough. This is like a dream for me to, to be able to do this. So, you know, and to be able to work with the Kyle family, I mean, how down to earth are they? They are oh, the definition man, I, of Texan, aren't they? Exactly. I, we've had conversations and of course we talked about the pit, you know, kind of throwing him my ideas and he was great about it. He was, he was just happy that it was getting done and getting the whole, just go with what you're thinking. Go with what you feel. I was throwing my ideas and, and he was liking them. He was agreeing with a lot of the stuff I was saying. And he didn't put too many restrictions on it or anything. He just said, you, you build it how you really want to build it. You get a chance to talk to Mama Kyle? Not yet. I haven't had the pleasure <laughs> yet. I, I'm taking the pit up there next week and I look forward to meeting him. That's awesome, man. I, I, you know, this couldn't have been a better collaboration between outstanding folks organizations and for an amazing cause so yeah once again um pour my heart out brother you absolutely outdid yourself on this one um thank you so much for everything you've done and for what you've done and the fact is this isn't just a regular person building a pit as a non-veteran he served he put his time in he went through the challenges and he knows what's happening 22 vets a day that's that's a uh, that's 22 way too many 22 more than there should ever be um, they need help and anything you can do to help is always appreciated and recommended and suggested because we owe our freedom to, to the folks who sacrifice themselves and then end up in a bad situation just because they're not getting the help that they need. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you uh, you enjoyed this video. This is an absolutely different video, but a amazing, amazing message and cause. So truly, again, appreciate your time. Appreciate everything you poured into this thing. I really, uh, really think it turned out amazing. Guys, we'll talk to you again very soon.